Howdy, howdy, Legends. Zephyr here. I'm a professional Apex Legends caster and analyst, and I'm here to run you through everything you need to make a head start on the latest Legend Catalyst. But before we give you our tips and tricks, let's have our question of the day. What POI have you been dropping at on Broken Moon so far? Catalyst is a defensive-based legend with some really interesting and unique abilities. She shares a similar playstyle to legends like Caustic and Watson, but there are some things that Catalyst just does better, and some things that she can do that other defensive legends just can't. Her whole kit is linked around her mysterious Pharaoh Fluid. When Catalyst's abilities leaked months ago, they were pretty different to the state that she's in now, but the core being that the Pharaoh Fluid has remained. Originally, she was going to be a build legend able to generate high structures and walls. Instead, she has the following three abilities, Barricade, Piercing Spikes, and Dark Veil. Let's run through them one by one and give you the tips and tricks you need to be a Ferro Fluid wielding master this season. Passive. Starting with her passive, Barricade. This ability lets Catalyst reinforce doors, meaning they can't be opened by enemies and they have double health to melee. This means they have to be kicked four times before they break. Catalyst can also reinforce doorways that no longer have a door. However, this is just a block rather than a rebuild to the door, so it can't be passed through. She can rebuild or reinforce up to two doorways at a time, meaning you can't lock down an entire building in most cases. It's important to make sure that you know what Barricade doesn't do. As I'm sure you know, doors are blown off to ordinances like Valkyrie Missiles, Fused Knuckle Clusters, and Grenades in the game. The extra health that the Barricade gives only applies to melee damage and not any of those other things. So, how is this ability useful? It's mostly effective when used as a delay. If you're being chased, you probably sit on a door to heal. That's generally considered a smart play. Now as Catalyst, you can buy yourself even more time and totally lock down everything. The same goes for playing a position with no doors. You can just refill the doorway to cut off any kind of angle. If you want to get really cheeky, why not combine someone like Catalyst with Caustic? Find a small building with ideally two doors. Barricade the doors from the outside. Because enemies can't open these doors, they are locked inside. Then you go for the old caustic alt and spam grenades inside. They're gonna be either dead or very weak, and honestly, pretty mad. I'm nicknaming this the Rage Quit Wombo Combo. Disclaimer, results may vary. Looking for a leg up in Apex? We have everything you need to supercharge your gameplay to the next level. From detailed in-game knowledge and guides to specialist coaches. Whatever your gameplay needs, we've got you covered. Why not sit down with an Apex Predator and get direct feedback on your gameplay? Perhaps ask them for their tips and tricks on how to reach the next rank in Apex. Check out the link in the description and let's go. Tactical. Now her tactical. This is sort of like a fluid trap. It's similar to oil slicks if you're a Mario Kart player. These, when activated, deal 15 damage and slow down any opponents who pass over them. This ability has a 25 second cooldown. Now, they share a few similarities with Caustic Barrels. One, they don't affect Catalysts at all, be it yourself or an opposing Catalyst. They can also be destroyed. When you're close to a trap and it activates, there's a core that becomes exposed. A trap has 300 HP and you have to hit the core for it to be destroyed. A Catalyst can place up to three traps at once and they can be thrown a lot further than you think. This means unlike a caustic barrel or a Watson fence, you can comfortably retrap something across a decently sized building by just throwing it. Instead of having to potentially break cover and risk taking big damage on the way to a doorway or position. Now, this is a useful ability, however, it can be a little tricky to place. It can be a bit funky at times and it only places a length away parallel to you. That means you can sometimes not get the placement right if you're at an angle or you're trying to throw it quickly. Think of it placing the same way as a thermite does. We've also got to think about what it actually does. It isn't really going to be as devastating as a caustic barrel for holding a position. In this sense, it's a lot more like a Watson fence. You can absolutely capitalize on it if someone triggers the trap, but the real value comes as a deterrence. 
You want a team to not push a certain door or corridor and instead go around or a different way or potentially leave you alone altogether. There are some more aggressive and risky plays that can be made with these traps too. The extra long throw means that you can yeet the fluid towards an enemy. For example, you beam someone and they take cover behind a bin or a rock. With the right throw, you can land the trap right on them, potentially dealing that crucial bit of extra damage that can knock them. At a minimum, it's going to disrupt them, surprise them, and confuse them while you move in for the kill. Of course, this is not really the primary purpose of this ability, and it's hard to pull off, but do keep it in mind as an option if you're all out of grenades or you just need to snag someone just behind that cover. Remember, the thermite-style placement in that situation. You also need to manage your traps wisely, as only placing three can seem a bit restrictive at times. You can't always secure every position, but you can combine it with your barricade ability to cover more entrances and exits. After all, if the enemy can't open your barricaded door, does it really need a trap behind it? Ultimate. Now on to Catalyst Ultimate. Her Dark Veil is a huge wall of ferrofluid that blocks line of sight, and it can block some scans. It has a two minute cooldown, but this starts as the wall raises rather than when it goes down, meaning you get about a third of the way to your next wall by the time the previous one has expired. The use of the wall probably is a little bit misleading. It can be shot through and it can be passed through. However, it is completely opaque and anyone who does happen to charge through the wall will be very heavily blinded and slowed. If you have an LOS on them, they're pretty much free kills. Before Catalyst released, this ultimate was by far the most discussed and debated part of her kit, for one good reason. This wall blocks scans. As we see here in the trailer, Seer throws his ultimate over the wall and gets no information whatsoever. Scan meta has been pretty prevalent in Apex for some time, and there's no real counter to it. You can't avoid a Bloodhound scan unless you're on the very edge. Seer's heartbeat is also almost unavoidable. Crypto Drone and Seer Tactical can sometimes be avoided or the drone can be destroyed. So, of course, players were very excited to finally have a counter to scans. But, as you can tell from my voice, they were disappointed. We don't know if this is intentional or a bug, but as things stand, if you throw your Seer ult over an enemy wall like you saw in the trailer, you do get scan information. It does counter Bloodhound scans perfectly, but for Seer, who is much more annoying to play against in a player's opinion, Catalyst isn't really much of a counter. The wall can also only be placed lengthways, looking the way you're facing. It cannot be rotated at all, which can sometimes be a bit of a hindrance in an emergency situation. So this ability isn't as much of a defensive get out of jail free card as it seemed from the trailers. That doesn't mean it isn't useful though, just for different things. Primarily, I'd recommend this for two situations, so let's run through them. One. To delay, raising a wall means your opponents have to go around it to be able to shoot you, and it can buy you time to reset, reposition, or simply just turn face and run away as fast as you can. The wall has some really good length and height. Disclaimer, you can horizon queue over the wall. Two, to rotate. By placing it up a hill or in a direction that it can block line of sight and give you the means to move past or towards a team. If there was a team up a hill, for example, and they were on your left, walling your left gives you a total block to run up right side and be on the same height as them before you take the fight. These are the most useful ways to use this ability. With Catalyst, being able to safely rotate to a strong position you can hold with your other abilities is very useful. P.S. You can also stick a section of the wall to a Crypto Drone and fly it into opponents. This is going to get patched, but... Enjoy it while it lasts. Thanks for sticking with our Catalyst Guide. Let us know how you're finding the latest legend. And if you discover any other tips and tricks, make sure to come back and share them with us. Until next time, legends.